Welcome aboard, fellow adventurers! Today, Superstructures takes you on a thrilling ride to discover the life inside the world's largest cruise ships ever built. These maritime marvels have redefined luxury and extravagance. But what makes life inside these floating cities so extraordinary? Let's unlock the doors and step into the grandeur within. Designing, building, and launching such a massive cruise ship is a lengthy process that can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months. Today's cruise ships are like floating cities, and creating these marvels requires meticulous planning, effort, and time. Just think about it. Each ship comes with an incredible array of amenities, from vast water parks to numerous luxury restaurants. Making all these possible demands precision planning and a considerable amount of time. The construction of each cruise ship takes place on a shipyard, and it all begins with placing an order. The cruise line's owner is the one who orders the ship and the design of the ship is approved beforehand. The construction process involves building different parts of the ship in various locations, like assembling a giant jigsaw puzzle. Each section, including the cabins and steel hull plates, is constructed separately. Building such a massive ship is a collaborative effort involving up to 500 subcontractors and suppliers, with more than 1.5 million manpower hours dedicated to the construction of a large vessel. The outer structure of the ship, complete with passenger cabins, restaurants, bathrooms, and an extensive network of electrical wires and plumbing pipes, takes about six months to build. In addition to the luxurious amenities, these ships require powerful engines to propel them through the waters. Some cruise ships have five or six engines all housed in one engine room. The most common type of engine is the diesel engine, which powers the ship's crankshaft and pistons. These in turn connect to massive propellers that drive the ship forward. The propellers on large cruise ships can be up to 20 feet tall, and each ship typically has three of them to maneuver efficiently in the water. These immense propellers can spin at an impressive 250 revolutions per minute, allowing the ship to reach high speeds. Today, we are fortunate to have a diverse range of cruise ships, each with unique dimensions and capacities. Take for instance the Wonder of the Seas, currently the largest cruise ship in service, measuring 1,187 feet in length and accommodating up to 6,988 passengers. On the horizon, we have the Icon of the Seas, yet to enter service, standing at an impressive 1,198 feet tall and capable of hosting over 7,600 passengers, or nearly 10,000 when including the crew. The construction of these modern giants doesn't come cheap, with some of the biggest cruise ships costing over $1 billion to build. Consider the allure of the seas, a 1,187-foot-long beauty, which held the title of the largest passenger ship during its launch in 2009. Constructing this marvel set the budget at around $1.4 billion. And for that price, passengers were treated to a two-deck dance hall, an ice skating rink, an array of 25 dining options, and a theater with a seating capacity of 1,380. While building such extraordinary vessels is a costly affair, embarking on a cruise adventure is no expensive endeavor either. With all the luxurious amenities and the opportunity to explore some of the world's most stunning destinations, it's no surprise that cruises are a symbol of luxury. Some of the most extravagant cruises offer unlimited drinks, caviar, and even helicopter transfers to enhance the experience. The cost of a cruise ship ticket can vary greatly depending on factors like the ship and the amenities offered. Prices can range from $25,000 to well over a million. The most lavish and exclusive cruise, the Seven Seas Explorer, comes with a staggering price tag of around $1.3 million. This once-in-a-lifetime journey covers 41 ports across 11 countries over 123 days, averaging around $9,398 per day. As part of this opulent experience, passengers also enjoy luxury hotel stays in cities like Sydney, Tokyo, and Hong Kong, along with private tours in these same breathtaking locations. While not every cruise will cost a million dollars, it's evident that for the extraordinary offerings and experiences they provide, the price will always be considerable. However, the memories and adventures gained from such an experience are truly priceless and unlike anything you've ever encountered before. In the world of huge cruise ships, there's one that stands out as the largest of them all, the Icon of the Seas. True to its name, this cruise ship is undeniably iconic. It boasts the largest water park at sea, 
and has already completed its first round of sea trials, making its maiden voyage across the open ocean. Set to debut in 2024, this marvelous vessel is the latest addition to Royal Caribbean International's fleet. The icon of the seas is an impressive sight, measuring nearly 1,200 feet in length. It has the capacity to accommodate 5,610 guests and 2,350 crew members. Interestingly, it has a maximum limit of over 7,960 passengers on board at one time. Aside from its imposing size, the ship's 20 decks house a plethora of lavish amenities, offering passengers an extraordinary experience. Among the ship's fantastic features are a modern pool, an aqua theater, a swim-up bar complete with an infinity pool, and giant floor-to-ceiling windows that provide passengers with breathtaking views like no other. As it sets sail, the icon of the seas promises an unforgettable journey that will undoubtedly leave passengers in awe of its grandeur and luxury. The prices for a cruise on the Icon of the Seas can vary, ranging from $1,000 to $5,392 for a suite. Although the Icon of the Seas is yet to enter service, there are other cruise ships renowned for their lavish features and immense size. One such ship is the Harmony of the Seas, which cost a staggering $1.5 billion to build and can accommodate a whopping 8,500 people. Its impressive 1,187-foot 1 length surpasses the height of the Eiffel Tower by 164 feet. Constructing this 16-deck marvel demanded around 40 months of dedicated hard work. On board the Harmony of the Seas, passengers can expect to indulge in some of the most opulent amenities ever found on a cruise ship. Among the highlights are a bionic bar operated by two robot barmen and a magnificent 1,400-seat theater featuring Broadway musicals. Another remarkable cruise ship that has captured the attention of many is the Oasis of the Seas. With a construction cost of approximately $1.4 billion, this ship boasts an impressive 1,181-foot-long deck and is divided into seven themed neighborhoods. The Oasis of the Seas offers a plethora of fabulous amenities, providing passengers with an unforgettable cruising experience. However, cruising on the Oasis of the Seas comes at a price and tickets can cost up to $16,000. Vacationing on a cruise ship has always been synonymous with luxury and the mesmerizing view of the sea. However, beneath the deck, there's a bustling world that makes the entire operation run smoothly. Cruise ships require a considerable number of dedicated crew members to ensure everything operates seamlessly. Living and working on a cruise ship may seem like a dream come true, but it comes down with its own set of pros and cons. Firstly, the living quarters for crew members are typically much smaller than the cabins offered to passengers. Often, two crew members share a cabin with bunk beds. However, those in higher positions may receive better accommodations. As each crew member plays a vital role in keeping the cruise ship functioning effortlessly, they often work long and extensive shifts, typically 12 to 14 hours a day, 7 days a week. The Allure of the Seas caters to an impressive number of passengers, serving up to 5,400 people multiple times a day at 26 different venues. It's hard to fathom just how much food is required for a single day on this massive ship. Now imagine the quantity needed for cruise ships that sail for up to 100 days at a time. It's a colossal undertaking. To handle such a massive culinary operation, it takes around 150 workers in the kitchen to transform a whopping 240 pallets of food into thousands of meals that rival those of fine restaurants. Even before the cruise begins, the company meticulously predicts passenger tastes and analyzes dining patterns to determine the necessary quantities of food to stock. They ensure that everything is well prepared to meet the passengers' preferences and demands. In the case of any shortage during the voyage, the ship can restock when it docks at various ports along the itinerary. Additionally, if needed, another ship can transport the required food to the cruise ship if it's not scheduled to dock at any port. This level of organization and planning is essential to ensure that all passengers are well-fed and satisfied throughout their cruise journey. Being on a cruise ship is truly an incredible experience, and one of the factors that contribute to its beauty is the emphasis on safety. Cruise ships are designed to be extremely safe, although accidents can still happen, albeit very rarely. Over the past 100 years, only 22 cruise ships have sunk, making them among the safest vessels in the world. Modern cruise ships are equipped with up-to-date safety features, ensuring that in the event of an incident, the number of lives lost is minimized. 
While cruise ships are indeed incredibly safe, they are not exempt from unfortunate incidents resulting in fatalities. On board these vast ships, you won't see it, but there is a morgue with enough body bags in case of an emergency. If someone passes away while on the ship, their body will be kept in the morgue until it can be disembarked at the next major port or the port of origin. The first step is always to notify port authorities and have someone examine the body. The staff members are well trained to handle the emotional needs of fellow passengers and loved ones in such situations. Some cruise liners even have ministers and small chapels on board for performing final rites according to the passengers' wishes. While these situations are fortunately rare, each cruise ship is well prepared to handle any emergency. The staff undergoes extensive training for months before they even set foot on the ship, ensuring they are equipped to handle any situation that may arise. Thanks to these rigorous safety measures and training, cruise ships remain a safe environment with very few casualties or accidents over the past decades. As our journey aboard the world's largest cruise ships comes to an end, we can't help but be in awe of the sheer magnificence and the exceptional experiences they offer. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time cruiser, join Superstructures and set sail on one of these giants to create memories that will last a lifetime. Until next time, bon voyage!